this was a vessel that means a lot for our, uh, our, our local history. It means a lot for our national history. It's quite a significant vessel. The mission of the St. Augustine Lighthouse and Museum is to uh, preserve and promote uh, the, the maritime history of the nation's oldest port. The Jeff Davis was a vessel that was a commercial trader, but it was also an illegal slave trader, and then uh, eventually ended her career as a privateer. A letter of mark that was issued by the Confederate government was essentially a, uh, an official permission slip to go out and harass enemy shipping. When a privateer captured an enemy ship, profit was a motivation. Also, you could say patriotism, because they were striking a blow against the enemy of, of their country. The Jeff Davis, on her very first cruise, uh, was very successful, capturing nine uh, Yankee sailing vessels. And of course, this proved to be the most successful cruise of the Civil War. The Jeff Davis attempted to thread the needle. Uh, St. Augustine has always had a treacherous inlet. She ended up running aground on the North Breakers, and that's what spelled her demise. I think one of the most important things in archaeology is, is people understanding why we do it. An archaeological field school is a long-standing tradition in the training of professional archaeologists. What we have here uh, is a very unique archaeological site. It's a double shipwreck site. Two vessels, one perhaps the Jefferson Davis, and certainly our field school may uh, you know, aid with our working hypothesis that this may the, uh, the remains of the Jefferson Davis. On the site, we often have between zero to six inch visibility. So we're trying to teach them to be underwater archaeologists, to ask questions that archaeologists ask. But the primary focus has been the ballast pile. That's the, the question of whether or not it's the Jeff Davis. The side scan sonar as a piece of remote sensing equipment is probably one of the more exciting pieces of equipment to use in the field. It's almost a movie of the seafloor. Underwater archaeology can give us a, a real shot at solving the mystery of the Jefferson Davis.